for horrible, heinous crimes, serial killers, and those who just abused and, 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 and did unspeakable things to their neighbors, to their fellow man, uh, then came to faith in Jesus Christ. And if their confessions of faith in Jesus Christ are true, they stand in heaven today as monuments to God's mercy. Well, when Paul says he's the chief of sinners, I say, Paul, you got competition over here, buddy. And yet, with Paul, I say, Lord, I don't deserve it. Lord, I didn't even ask you to die for me. Lord, I didn't even know I was a sinner standing condemned until I heard the gospel. But will you allow me to be a walking monument of your mercy? Uh, there's a great uh, preacher and revivalist uh, from Chicago, Jack Hiles, and he was having a horrible time getting a revival going in a Texas town. And God laid on his heart, if you want to have revival, go around and get the worst sinner in town saved, and everyone else will follow suit. And he found out that the worst sinner in town was a bootlegger, lived out in an old mining camp, but uh, didn't have electricity or running water. And he went out there, and he told this man, you're going to stand condemned before God one day, and you're going to go to hell, and you're going to, you're going to pay for what you've done to the families, breaking them up through your, your, uh, through your liquor traffic and the, and the marriages that you've wrecked and the children that you've, uh, whose lives you've ruined from a young age because they got hooked on your booze. And the man realized, absolutely, I stand condemned before God. And right there, uh, Jack Kyle said, his eggs uh, were in a frying pan over a fire. There was coffee, uh, water boiling for coffee. And he said, the eggs burned and the, coffee, the water ran out with steam. While that man confessed to God that he needed to be saved and received Jesus Christ as his Savior. And that night, he came to the revival service, and everyone found out the worst bootlegger in Texas got saved. They called it getting religion back then, but they meant he got saved. And he came down the aisle at the invitation not to receive Jesus, he'd already done that, just to confess and profess his faith in Jesus Christ and get baptized and join the church. And about uh, 20 or, or 30 bootleggers watched through the windows as he walked down the aisle to, conf to, to profess who Jesus Christ was to him. And they all came running in the back and said, we want that too. And revival broke out. You want revival? Find some monuments to God's mercy. Find some lives that have been transformed from the depths to the heights. Find people that were walking zombies, dead men walking, who are now living monuments to God's mercy. And then get some people who want the same stuff in their life too. I'll invite the music team forward to close us in uh, the final song. If anyone would like to come down forward, great.